Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Today's episode is actually cleaning the SP-89. I had a request by a viewer on cleaning this. Um, this uh, holds true also for any HK clone um, that uh, meets to the pretty much the same standards, and then also, of course, any uh, MP5 based gun. So uh, even if you have a PDW, uh, uh, regular MP5, whatever versions you have, including um, very slight modifications for things like uh, the things like the PTR-91, any of these different types of HK guns that have pretty much the same uh, mechanic design. So I'm going to go ahead and take the gun apart. Um, assuming if you have one of these, I'm not going to cover how you take the gun apart. It actually takes apart very easily. We're also going to go ahead and take apart the trigger pack. And uh, we've got the gun pretty much apart. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and clean the barrel first. So I'm using a hop solvent, using it on the inside of the barrel. So looking down here, hitting the barrel, and what we're doing is going to clean out any uh, debris or deposits that form in here. Get that pretty good. Um, now what we're going to do is actually go ahead and lubricate the barrel. And what you're going to do is take whatever swab that you use, um, put some gun oil on that, both sides of the swab, and you're going to go ahead and run it down the barrel. Of course, if you have a longer barrel, you'll need a longer rod, and this will take a little bit longer, but with a very, very short barrel on the SP-89. Um, this isn't really an issue. Um, if you don't, like for example, I'm in a studio here, so of course I've got all sorts of really bright lights to be able to look down here. Uh, you may want to pick up one of these little uh, hopped bore lights. Um, what you can do with the popped bore light is it's lets you look down the barrel and you can actually see if there's any a little debris or fragments or anything you may have uh, missed in the barrel. Um, so mine's clean. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and clean the upper receiver. So we're going to take some of this hop solvent and we're going to go ahead and run it far down into this uh, receiver as we can. If you think about where the rolling pins run along the sides, you want to make sure you clean all the way down there. So I'm just scrubbing anything out of it that may have formed up. Which is pretty clean. Um, after you've cleaned that out, now what we're going to do is actually go ahead and concentrate on the bolt. On the bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and take take the bolt carrier apart. So first thing I do is pull the spring out. Kind of go ahead and take this head, and you're going to push it in and rotate it like so. Pop it right out. And then we're going to go ahead and take apart the firing pin out. Now what we're going to do here is go ahead and scrub this guy down. Looking for any debris that's formed. Key might have actually shot this video a couple times, so there isn't going to be much uh, much for me to take off. So this is actually pretty much a clean gun. But just showing you the steps here. Over here in the bolt head, I'm going to go ahead and quickly scrub this down. Take the spring off the firing pin. Scrub the firing pin down. Oh. 
scrub this down so it's nice and shiny. And now what we're going to do is actually uh, run some of this lube just down on the spring. So we're going to have the spring uh, get some of that in there. We're going to actually coat the outside of the whole bolt carrier. actual firing pin, insert it back in, and as you're putting this back into the bolt carrier, you're going to want to just turn it so it's just a hair. Um, you're looking at maybe a 1030 position where you're looking straight down on it, just rotating it counterclockwise just a hair. And then here with all the rolling pins, you're going to go ahead and hit this up with some gun oil and then just drop this back in rotate it counterclockwise so it pops right back into place um, and I'll pull this part just pull it out so that you see the uh, uh, the roller pins actually pop back in and I'm gonna put a little bit of gun oil right in here so that when I go back and forth, you almost hear like a little sloshing sound. And then we're going to go ahead and apply on both sides. If you look along the little track areas, I'm going to go ahead and put some gun oil along there. go ahead and slide it back in. Um, so that should be the only area you're really going to put a lot of lubrication into this thing. And as you can see that one there is running actually pretty wet in there. Um, there's no friction as I have this slide along. It's actually pretty much very smooth. As far as the uh, lower trigger goes, I'm going to take a swab here. Um, you should already have some uh, solvent on from cleaning the up repair portion. I'm just looking to take off any debris that may have formed down here. Same thing when you look in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scrub the whole trigger group. Um, you have one, one, uh, one spring in here. That's the only spring that I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little bit of gun oil in. And then I'm going to put just about a drop on either side of this. And mainly since you have metal on metals, these things slide back in. I put a little bit of gun oil there just to have it fit nice and smooth. Now we're going to do is actually clean the outside of the gun. So now what I'm going to do is actually clean the outside of the gun. And what I use is actually this uh, gun. Uh, it's called Gun Scrubber by Birch Case Casey, uh, Birchwood Casey, and. Uh, do a few squirts on the outside. And what's nice about this is it really makes the gun look like it's uh, brand new from the factory. Um, and depending on which particular gun you use this, because you can use this on just about anything. Um, I even use it on uh, nickel-plated guns, so uh, there isn't actually any restrictions on what you would use this on. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of any scenario where I wouldn't use this. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, maybe if you had some 
hundred thousand dollar shotgun with some real old wood or something uh, I may not uh, may not recommend using this but uh, I'd say any firearm you're actually going to shoot versus just sitting on a on a shelf as a collector's item um, this is actually a great solution and as you can see it really cleans the gun safe on plastics metals anything um, which is what I really like about this one instead of having to have multiple solutions and as you can see the outside of the guns uh, pretty much uh, really clean now uh, it's also a uh, Anyone can go ahead and grab it, touch it. It's not going to have that uh, gun oil on it. So what we've done is just clean the exterior of it after we've done the interior cleaning. So, anyways, if you have any questions, please email me at info at civiliantacticalweapons.com, and I hope to see you in a future episode.